Here's apparently a classic Scottish dessert, which is sticky toffee pudding with uh, vanilla ice cream. I never tried this and well, I've tried sticky toffee before, but this one looks so different from the one that I usually try. I'm at a place called, let me show it to you, Makara's Gourmet Mash Bar Company. And I'm going to try this out, so join me for a dessert here in Scotland. Try something called tablet. Yeah, yeah, we are. So, so the place I tried, the, this place I tried their lamb shank and it was absolutely delicious. This place is known for having meats with mash and um, it was it was really packed just a little while ago. Uh, this place is super popular. It's called Macars and it's extremely popular. Luckily, I was able to get a seat, but I was outside. It was freezing cold, and then uh, I luckily was able to move inside. Uh, so I didn't get to show this. Describe it to you before I dig into the dessert. The lamb shank was amazing. Uh, really, really huge chunk of lamb. Very meaty. Uh, really tender, so much so tender you can almost eat it with a spoon. And the mash underneath had uh, black pudding inside. You don't know what black pudding is? It's blood sausage, and that's very typical in this area of uh, Britain. So that was a good combination. And then the actual gravy. I'm not sure exactly how they made it, but it was really, really good. It had a little bit of sweetness quality to it with some coleslaw. Ooh, so delicious. So I, I do recommend the lamb shank at this place. Let me show you the place. I'll pop up a video actually of it right over here. So join me for a Scottish dessert. That's the lamb shank. So yeah, it was very tender, off the bone, very beautifully presented, and I was starting to eat outside where it was freezing, freezing cold. Um, I wish I could have shown it to you, <laughs> but it was way too packed earlier. But now it's empty here, and just in time for dessert, I can show you. So I got so lucky that I was able to get a seat, but uh, inside, but yeah, this is the restaurant, very beautiful restaurant, and this is the place. All right, let's try the sticky toffee pudding. Let's see how it is. So the ice cream is already melting, so we got to get quick. Otherwise, we'll lose traction. And we have a thistly cross. I'm gonna order myself my one. Wait a minute. Oh, wow. Super soft, very creamy. Um, very creamy, has a beautiful, very soft and spongy. That's really good. Really, really good. Has a little bit of kind of um, the dates on top since they're like kind of mashed. Has a very kind of, um, it's hard to describe that type of dried fruit taste. But if you had dates before, or if you had, for example, prunes, it's kind of that taste to it. Kind of that semi-bitter taste to it. Really good. Wow. Look at that. Mm. I'm having this with the cider. And this is Thistley Cross, which is a local cider close to Edinburgh. I remember being hooked on this the last time. It's really, really good. It's one of the few ciders that actually doesn't make me too red. Um, and I'm not sure why. But I know some beers and some ciders uh, cooperate very well with me. And this one tastes very good, very crisp. About 4.8% alcohol. And it's um, very refreshing. Very refreshing. Do you recommend with this? What, what whiskey do you recommend with this? Monkey shoulder. I'll have a monkey shoulder. 
So really, really good. So I'm ordering a wee dry my whiskey just to try it out. Uh, but yeah, let me know where you're watching from. Let me know if you tried sticky toffee pudding before. It's somewhat common in America, but this one tastes really different uh, because there's a lot more kind of just thicker taste. Great taste. What I like about uh, desserts here in, in Scotland in general and in the UK in general is that they're not too sweet, which is very, very nice. A lot of people don't realize that milk in the UK, Ireland, is way, way better than milk in the US. Uh, and then even milk in France, because milk in France, I've read, kind of sucks. It's called hyper pasteurization, which means that they uh, heat it up almost twice as hot than they even do in the U.S. And U.S. a lot of firms nowadays actually do that as well. They make it very hot, so like 200 degrees Fahrenheit. But uh, here they don't do that as much, or if at all, and also in Ireland. Uh, so you end up having in my opinion, actually really good ice cream in the UK and Ireland uh, to an extension because both cultures have a uh, similar um, industrial food. So yeah, I would recommend it. All right, let's try the weed dram of whiskey. Cheers. Hard to describe. I'm not a big whiskey drinker, but that tastes um it's warming. I, I assume he recommended having it with ice because of uh it's strong, that's for sure. It's really strong. But combines well with the sticky toffee pudding. I like it. Susie says, what whiskey are you having? Something monkey bush? <laughs> I didn't get the name. <laughs> he says something with the monkey. Yeah, Diane says, uh, Green Album is playing in the background. Yeah, so this this broadcast is sponsored by uh, Superbiz. Thank you so much. All right, let's, let me have a few more bites. This is heavenly. Mm. Mark says, can I have a swig? Edda says, what are you having? Stocky, sticky toffee pudding with a scoop of ice cream and a we dram a whiskey. Really good. Uh,
Yeah, you'll be seeing an Airbnb review of uh, where I'm staying uh, at the end of uh, this this leg of the trip, which is very short. Oh my god. Wow. Hey, Heather says I work for Airbnb. You do, Heather. Cool. Can you hook me up? <laughs> you got any discounts? Hey, Lorraine says I love this song. Yeah, I'm glad you do. Uh, I'm glad you do. Luckily, there's still a few people here left, so I can stick around for like five more minutes. Um, I love Scotland yesterday, says, says uh, David. Dave, I would love to say hello. Yeah, oh no, Dave, uh, are you traveling here? Do let me know. Um, if you're in Scotland, I'm happy to wave hello. Um, so yes, if you see me in the streets, anywhere in the around the world, always happy to wave hello. Tammy says, which restaurant are you at? So it's one of the more higher rated restaurants in all of uh, Edinburgh. Uh, and these guys recently expanded to London in Covent Garden. So if you're not, if you're not traveling to Scotland, try these guys in Covent Garden in London. It's right in the middle of London. And it's really cool because in Covent Garden, they're not super crazy popular yet. Because I don't think uh, Londoners or the English know them about, about these guys yet. But I do recommend them. So I'll show you the name. Well, they're called Makara's Gourmet Mash Company. Oh my god. We dram of whiskey is really a lot of alcohol. I need more sticky toffee pudding. Not, not another P word. Definitely not another P word. Jenna says, hydrate too. You know, I bought, well I do every time I stay in the new city. Pro tip, go to the local grocery store. Here is Tesco Sainsbury's. And buy yourself, to save money, buy yourself very large uh, bottles of water. You could drink tap water here in the UK, which is good. But there's really good, um, there's really good bottles of water also here. Scotland has actually a really awesome variety of bottled waters, which I do recommend. They all taste really amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm drinking now an entire glass full of vodka. What's the opposite of we? Let me know. All right, everyone, feel free to ask me any last one, maybe questions. <laughs> that was sticky toffee pudding. It is a good Scottish dessert. I never knew, never realized sticky toffee pudding it was very Scott. It's really good. Yum. It's saucy. It's creamy. I feel like, um, I feel like it, it just got juices, my juices flowing. It felt very, um, yeah, very, very warm and wet. That was, that was the sticky toffee pudding flavor profile. Warm and wet. You ever felt that feeling? Let me know. Dia says haggis yet? No, they do serve amazing haggis here. Uh, but no, I did not try the haggis yet. And the reason I did not try haggis yet is because tomorrow I'm going to another famous place for haggis with a few cool, cool, uh, cool uh, duo, cool Scottish duo. Uh, I'll be having dinner with a cool couple from Scotland. So maybe I'll do a short video there. All right. Now let's drink this up because people are starting to leave. I gotta get my check. So put on your notifications, maybe I'll do a short, short video of the haggis with a really cool uh, duo here in Scotland. Oh my, Matara says, God, dude, I hope you have a date after this. <laughs> that, that means I pre-game this date very, very early. Very early pre-game. Oh yeah. I'm not sure if you should pre-game a date. If you don't know what the term pre-game is, it's a term used in America. I'm not sure if it's a UK thing, because I don't think they do that in the UK. Uh, but due to, due to the drinking age in America, it's 21 or over. 
um, what we do is if we I do not condone this, everyone. Do not break the law. Uh, what we would do, I'm, not, I'm neither confirming nor denying that I did it myself. We would drink copious amounts of alcohol before going to said party or said club where we couldn't legally buy alcohol. And that is called a pre-game. Pre People pre-game in America anything. You can pre-game a movie. Like, you can pre-game a theater show, a Broadway show. You can pre-game a wedding. Um, and Americans usually would say I would pre-game if they don't either are nervous of going there or actually think it might be a little bit lame and they want to kind of make it a little bit more fun by drinking and that's why you would pre-game I would not recommend pre-gaming a date that would just be very awkward all right so the restaurant is empty the sun Setting. Uh, yeah, sorry, yes. Are you live streaming? I am live streaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. I do YouTube live streams okay. all around the world. What's your name? It's Urban is Exploring Cities is the YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want you want to say hi? Yeah, I'll say hi. Yeah. Hey. hey. What's your name? Jay. Jay. Nice to meet you. Great work. Nothing then. Oh, good, Great recommendation with uh, this whiskey. Yeah, it's good. It's yeah. my mom's favorite. It's your mom's favorite? Yeah, 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 mom loves it. Yeah, What's yeah. the name of it again? Monkey's Shoulder. Monkey's Shoulder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mistakenly yeah. said Monkey's Bush. <laughs> so, very, very different thing. <laughs> it could be a sound of it. Right, right, right. That's true, that's true. What is it called? It's Urbanist Exploring City. What do you recommend for all my uh, viewers out there? Uh, what to see in Edinburgh? Well, off the seat, off the seat. On the top, it's free, and you get to see the whole city. And you can see the, the sea, and you can sort of see there's a, there's a town called Fife, and you can sort of see all the way to Fife. Oh, I would nice. definitely recommend that. Uh, I would recommend going to a few clubs that would be quite good in the cow gate. Like which one? Which one do you recommend? Sneaky Pete's is probably my favorite at the minute. Sneaky Pete's. It's like a Sneaky okay. Pete's. It's good, it's good. That's a good name for a club. Yeah, and there's also nice, I don't know if you cycle, but there's lots of places to go with really nice cycles. And uh, canal is nice. You can cycle to Glasgow from Edinburgh. Wow, really? Yeah, yeah, on a canal the whole way. You don't have to touch the road, right? That's crazy. That's impressive. Have you done it yourself? A few times, yeah. A few times. Oh, Accurate. Wow. It's like you get there, fall asleep. Right, right. It's so, yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's, like, it's like 60 miles or something. Wow. And then it's probably a bit more from like house to house, yeah, so you get to Are you Glaswegian or Edinburgh? Neither. But Neither. I lived in both. Okay. I lived in okay. Glasgow for a year and a half and I've lived here for like eight years. I'm actually originally from up north okay. of Scotland, a place called Turriff. It's like a tiny town. It's near Aberdeen. I'm about to head up further up north. Right. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. So, Edinburgh or Glasgow? Last <laughs> question. Well, they're both good for different reasons. <laughs> right, so, right. I think if you're young, Glasgow. Yeah. But Edinburgh is more like, it's like Edinburgh is a big town. Like right. it's, it's so small, it's like everyone knows everyone, it's very relaxed. Things to do, so, I don't know, I don't know what to choose. I like them both for different reasons. Here you can bump into your friends every two seconds and learn about in Glasgow, there's like events all the time and you can stay very busy there. It's, it's a bigger city, right? Half and half. I'm back and forth, I go back and forth all the time. I was there today actually, I just came from the It's so change. close, that's Yeah, yeah, it's like 45 minutes on the train or something like that. Right. So it's just two seconds, yeah. That's awesome, man. Nice to meet you again. Nice uh, to meet you. Did you end up finding the YouTube? No, I, I got distracted. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. So you can tell your mom that. Yeah. Urban. Urbanist. Urban. Uh, exploring city. Sounds like my street. Perfect. Awesome, man. I'll grab the check on the end of the live stream soon. Yeah, Thank you so much. Right. Appreciate Perfect. that. <laughs> um, all right, everyone. So that was a really cool, really cool to meet a fellow um, <laughs> Scott. <laughs> Gary says very political answer. Neither ever. That's why I asked it. That's why I asked it. Uh, but anyway, anyway, that was a really cool conversation. Uh, Susie says, "Is this a Scottish hipster?" No, it's pretty much. I would, hipster already is kind of a word that's kind of. Uh, it doesn't mean anything anymore because not everyone has adopted that culture. So I wouldn't say it per se. Um, monkey bush or monkey shoulder. This is monkey shoulder. Thank you so much to the mom of this gentleman over here for recommending monkey shoulder. Not monkey bush. Everyone, keep being awesome and always keep on exploring. I like this. Another.
no, I did not pay for the glass beforehand, so I can't do that. But have a great day, everyone. Maybe you'll see me again in Edinburgh tomorrow. Put on those notifications. Have a good day. Bye-bye.